how to connect mongodb to an attend hey everyone welcome back to the channel in today's tutorial i will show you how to connect mongodb to an attend to automate your workflow this video is perfect for developer data analyst and even no code enthusiast who want to bridge the gap between apps and databases without writing custom scripts by the end of this tutorial you will learn how to set up and secure connection and configure basic operation like find and insert so yeah let's get started before we begin here is what you will need first you have to have access and of an attend instance either you self hosted on your computer or you are using an attend cloud now the second one is mongodb database this cloud will this could be a local or hosted on mongodb atlas so if you have these things then let's get started and again uh, a mongodb user with the proper permission you have to have that now let's get started first thing first what you have to do is create an account on anaten as you can see i have already created an account and i am using cloud version of anaten now what you have to do is uh, to to get access of your database just simply create an account in mongodb hit the yeah, yeah and search for mongodb as you can see here click on the first link and create an account using your credential or google so i have already an account so which we ha i have created earlier so now when you create an account something will pop up in front of you then you have three option like is a first two is paid the third one is free i will choose free one and make sure you have chooses the aws provider and then your regional thing and then simply click on this create deployment as you can see here there is option of create deployment just simply click on it so our cluster is being created so wait for few second so you can enter your username and password now or what you can do is just simply remove this now what you what you can do is go into network access into security option as you can see there is option of network access now right now i have only one ip address so what you have to do is just simply add another ip address click on this add another ip address then click on all access from anywhere just simply click on it and then if you want to add a comment into that you can add that too and this is a uh, entry system from here you can uh, set up hours for this tutorial i will not set up any hours just simply confirm on this and as you can see here we have successfully created our ip address so wait for few second it will show up active now after creating the ip address you have to create database access so click on this database and click on this add new database user just simply click on it now what you have to do is in the authentication method you have to select the password then you have to enter the username for example in my case and at end so whatever user you want to give username what you want to give you can give and then connection and then enter the password make sure you enter the password and remember it so one two three as you can see here i have added my password and then you can add your description this is option and it in this is for an attend connection and then you have to give at least one privilege click on this add role and select only read any database now click on this add user after selecting the build in role now we have successfully added our database access to our user now what you have to do is uh, to create a new database go into cluster in the top le right left corner you got and then from here you have to click on this connect button something will pop up in front of you and click on this driver now from here scroll down a little bit 
you will get to see there is a link this simply copy this and click on the done now in order to create your database click on this browse collection it will create a sample database for you so return now you have to click on this try the new database explorer wait for a few seconds as you can see it will it will load now on the right right side you will get to see there is an option of create database now click on this that and give it your database name for example and add in first data collection name give a collection name it will be very similar to do that yes and click on this create database you can create your own database or you can create a just sample database so so we have these four database over here so what i'm going to do i will just simply click on this uh this database and copy the name of this database so copy this and let's move back to our anatem so i will delete this node and click on this plus icon and search for database or mongo tv and from here you have to choose the action which you want to take i will choose insert document now right now i have two authentication uh credentials two credentials so what i'm going to do is just for this tutorial i will create a new one so click on it and it will something pop up in front of you now you have to change the value from the connection string now in this second option you have to paste a link which is connection string link from where you get go back into your database and go to your data services or you can choose cluster from the database in the left side just click on this connect option click on this driver option and copy this link which is this one and then click on this done and go back to your anatem or paste this link and in this uh, place uh, remove this password and enter your password which you have added a dip and enter the database name over here so i will go back in browse collection and search for cluster so copy this name which you want to connect and paste it into database over here and click on this save button wait for a few seconds it is testing and here we go we have successfully connected our mongodb account with an if you found this video helpful then subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching